Hello, it's Kale, guys. Next is Hale. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And today we are here at Tuesday Reset. We're going to quickly go through all the new gear that has come, obviously, with Reset. We're going to go through Banshee's gear and obviously test Everest. I know, we got from one free kind of character, NPC, to uh, paid stuff. But we're going to go through it anyway. We're going to go through Banshee 44. And the weapons we're going to see today from the reset is going to be the seven seraph the toilet and trouble last perdition cartesian coordinate fallen guillotine and bad omen so basically you got a bunch of weapons every week for vendor rolls and the weapon rolls wise we're gonna go through each one in terms of rolls and everything are the god rolls honestly the seven seraph not exactly the god roll we don't really have a god roll hill threat detector moving target not a great not a great and also it is bugged right now the freaking last work is not it maybe just for me you guys might have it but for me the master work is bugged rolls wise though really not too great the toilet trouble though Toilet Trouble has another solid ass roll. You actually kind of get a god roll here. It is a shame it's got no acroids, but as I said, it does have the ranged masterwork. So this thing is pretty juicy. If you didn't get the god roll that was there last week or the week before, the Toilet Trouble this week is definitely worth picking up a roll of. For the last perdition, we have an average roll again. It's got the ranged masterwork going for it. It does have the um, a decent ish zooms in terms of the SLO 10 or the SLO 12. I will say overall, though, perks wise, Grave Robber isn't that great, really for this sort of weapon you can get better perks here you can get better perks so overall this weapon ain't too great ain't too great of a roll cartesian coordinate though this is a heavy hitter this week this is honestly probably the best roll out of the mob it's up between this and toil and trouble so yeah honestly overall i would say this is close to a god roll the only thing that's holding the back right now is that it didn't come with a master again i don't know what bungie i don't know what's happening at bungie okay sometimes guns come out with no master work sometimes they do it obviously is a bug it's it's some nasty bug that's coming out but eventually it might get a master work when you buy it so i definitely think it's worth picking up and honestly the roll wise it's near close to uh, the curated roll next we have the fallen guillotine sword which swords honestly have been doing well of course crown splitter is just breaking everything but fallen guillotine it has hungry edge honed edge or jagged edge honestly jagged edge is a dope ass perk for this it's got the impact master work as well so it's got tons of impact it's got relentless strikes so landing tree light attack hits within a short time grant sword ammo really really dope last but not least though its perk is going to be on guard quick attacks immediately after swapping to the sword do additional damage and this honestly isn't bad especially with the relentless strikes it's actually a pretty cool combo but obviously you're gonna want the uh, whirlwind blade i cannot say whirlwind i have like a tongue twister the whirlwind blades are honestly gonna be the best break here and everything but this isn't a bad roll if you don't have a good falling guillotine or you can't farm one definitely try to get this one this has a good bit of impact with the master and obviously the uh, jagged edge and last but not least is gonna be the bad omens rocket launcher what can i say about a rocket launcher it does have the genesis and also the auto loading holster and with this season having a lot of stuff to do with rocket launches it's actually not the worst role in the world genesis is actually pretty cool but when it comes to rocket launches i know a lot of people are going to go for impulse am amplifier and stuff like that but honestly bad omens this week not the worst but mm, i wouldn't say you gotta get it right now it is on the most guys when it comes to the everest store though i'm gonna go through all the bright dust stuff you can obtain of course we're, we're not paid to win boys we aren't paid to win we ain't paying nothing we're going for bright dust but this is going to be the first thing you get a sauritized emote obviously if you right click <laughs> Oh, it's a great emote. It's a freaking beautiful emote. That's me, boys. That's me after every PvP game, okay? Every game. You can get the vest shell as well. Honestly, a really cool uh, sort of one. If you're a vest, uh, obviously, enthusiast. If you're a guy who follows this foundry as much as I follow Suros, this is definitely going to be a sweet one to pick up. You can get the knuckle bug. Oh my god, it's actually not a bad ship. You can get the knuckle bug ship, though. Not too bad. Not too bad. Pretty cool looking ship. You got the Count Urier Bond. I don't know how you say it, but that is looking pretty sick. Oh my god, that actually looks really cool. This is the bond, though, obviously, for the Wardocks and stuff like that. Next, you're going to have the Swift Song vehicle. Honestly, not the greatest looking. It's a legendary, too, so probably not going to be going for it. But honestly, one of the biggest things right now is I know people, a lot of people, you guys watching this, don't have the Vex Mythic class, but the Vex ornament is actually up for Bright Dust. I've already obtained it myself, but you can see the Vex ornament straight up. It, is, it looks beautiful, and that is in Eververse right now for Bright Dust. Pick it up if you want to. And last but not least, we got the Dido Capsule entrance. Honestly, a pretty cool entrance if you look at it. Just keep going in, boys. It looks like a dinosaur egg. You just pop out of nowhere. It's like pills. But this is the Everest and everything. You can go for a different couple of shaders, though. Golden Trance, cool shader. We got the Amula Meteor Gloss. I have all these, obviously, but for people who don't have them, they are pretty nice shaders. The Meteor one is probably the best one. You got the Reflection Effects, which obviously is really cool as well when you load in. You got the Harpy's Cry, which apparently I don't have, but we don't like them. We got the Cabal Entrance, and you got the Consumables at the end. And you can see these refresh every week. But that is your weekly dose of... Of destiny okay we have more videos during the week but that is the weekly stuff coming back obviously into the game if you like the video trust like and release more content subscribe for today and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one